This good size channel cat right here. Look at that right sucker here. right there. That's a dinner. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ah, look at this guy. I will let him go because I do not particularly care for carp much, but if this was survival, ah, what a fetus. Look at this. I'm gonna let this guy go. Well, folks, as you saw, I caught a good sized channel catfish and we are getting pretty hungry. So I already gave them the bop. We are very grateful for this animal and what it's providing to us. Now the sunset is just around the corner. So, you know, it's cool enough where we could get the, get a fire. Normally we would get a fire going right now. We have a fire ban. So we're going to be using a propane cooker. So let's get to it. So let's start making that cut. Now we know why this was such a chunky catfish. This was a female, so she has eggs. So this is the row. These are the eggs right here. You know, this is real, a real survival situation. You would eat that right up and you'd be happy to have it. Uh, I'm not so uh, hungry for that right now, so I'll leave the caviar for the scavengers. Oop. And all this, all these guts, you know, these fish, catfish are notorious cannibals, so all this stuff can still be used as bait if you're going to keep fishing. right here and I'll break 
this off. Remove that. A good size animal right here. And we're gonna be cooking this whole thing up in foil. As I mentioned earlier today, normally you guys know us, we would do, you know, cooking over coals, cooking over a fire on a spit or something like that. Because we do have fire restrictions right now, we are using a propane tank to cook our food. So we're doing a brand new recipe that I've never done with catfish before. So my buddy Shadow, who I'm camping with today, uh, we're using his propane tank and uh, he's lending us some foil. And we're gonna just wrap this guy on foil just with its own juices, with its own, you know, just with the meat. And then of course we're gonna just throw some spices on there. All right, so we got some salt. Of course, we did rinse them to get all the blood and the gunk off. We even rinsed them again with just regular water that we had in our canteen, you know, just to not get all that nasty stuff on there. Cayenne pepper. Let's try some thyme as well. I don't normally cook with thyme, but uh, we got plenty of time. And then our favorite, some cayenne. Crushed pepper. And just a tad bit more salt. Close all the ends so it cooks with its own moisture. Okay, so dinner is underway. Now what we have cooking in the cast iron and in this Dutch oven is some pozole. For those of you who don't know, who don't live in the Southwest, pozole is a hominy and pork type of stew. And then we placed on top the catfish. So, you know, even had we not caught any fish, we were already going to be eating some good dinner. But, uh, of course, the, the fish is an added bonus. So the catfish is going to be placed on top. And we're gonna, we're not in a hurry. We're going to let it slow cook maybe 15, 20 minutes, turning it here and there. But so far, so good. Got another one. Look at this. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if it's a walleye or I don't know, but caught him. Nice.
So we have let this baby cook for about three hours. We actually had dinner already, so we got to eat. We weren't in a hurry to cook this guy. We just wanted to let it slow cook in here and with all its juices, all the spices. Let's bring it on over here. All right, so let's test this out. Once again, it's been about three hours, so. Check it out, nice and white and flaky. All right, so taste test. Damn spicy. <laughs> we may have put a little bit too much pepper, but other than that, this guy is ready to go. All right, I'm just going to use my hand here. Screw, screw the fork. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Really good. Really spicy. <laughs> Maybe if you decide to mimic this recipe, uh, tone it down with the cayenne. But other than that, this is really good. Some people cut out the skin from the catfish. I find the skin to be really delicious, you know, so I really like it. I don't mind eating that. Really good stuff. Well, guys, I don't want to take this, make this video too long. Okay, so nice and short catch and cook. We were far overdue for a catch and cook. We hadn't done one since like February when we caught those crabs in Oregon. So... Finally, my curse with fishing is lifted and, and you know, I'm catching fish. We, we caught three, actually. Not just this catfish, but a carp and a drum as well. So that's about it for us. We're going to enjoy the rest of our camping trip. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and let us know what is your favorite catfish recipe. And we will try that next time. As you can tell, I am my mouth is burning right now. That cayenne is strong. Okay, so we will see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.